Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So I was just watching two Raw's video. Uh, y'all make sure y'all subscribe to his platforms. And he did a review on Jason Whitlock. Now I did see this as well a couple days ago where Jason Whitlock actually praised Angel Reese. And one thing he what he said what he praised her for was for her to actually be able to celebrate her femininity on display for the WNBA draft. And not just her, honestly, the majority of people that was there was able to I mean mo most of them were, you know, they were dressed to impress. And I'm sure that was probably the highest rated WNBA draft of all time. Every, like I said, I would say all but what? A handful, maybe one. Everybody was dressing, you know, nice dresses and tight outfits. Now, look. I agree with Jason Whitlock and Tuwal on their points of views. Honestly, the WNBA was... They want... the People, and people are going to get mad. But you can't say you want one thing, but showing another. I can't tell somebody I want to be a scholar or a university of scholar. But I'm riding around, you know, robbing people. And you y'all know. The WNBA, they've had a long time of. They, they don't really know who they want to market to. That's my opinion, honestly. And I think a lot of players, they get so emotional instead of them just sitting down and, and, and being honest with reality, they want to point the finger. And my thing is this, and I, I keep saying this, that the, wasn't nobody at the games, wasn't no women at the games, wasn't no men at the games, wasn't no dogs at the games, no chickens, no pig. Nobody went to the WNBA games. And now that you got an Angel Reese and a Caitlin Clark, you're going to have more people. And, you know, unfortunately, well, not even unfortunately, y'all honestly got to realize that, I mean, look, you got to have the right look. I'm sorry. You just do. And certain people can't move the needle. And I.E. Odell Beckham in his prime, David Beckham in his prime, Michael Jordan in his prime. You know, these are people that move the needle. The WNBA needed that. You needed a, a Angel Reese that, you know, the men can go, oh, wow. You know, and even the little girls can look up to or a Caitlin Clark. And then you need a rivalries. And, you know, that's just something that the WNBA didn't understand. But it is nice to see, you know, very beautiful women and they're allowed to be beautiful women you know they're not forced to be a you know put in a certain group or whatever so I, I honestly agree with both of them on that and and one more thing we need to honestly in society just to go back to celebrating women being women and it's okay for a woman to be in her femininity you know what I mean like the WNBA players, they y'all shouldn't make people feel bad. Cause I forget her get her name, but I heard she got ran out of the WNBA for trying to post. Oh, I wish I remember her name right now. Uh, I think she's Australian. But a lot of WNBA players didn't like her from what what she was doing with OnlyFans. I want to give a special shout out to Angel Reese for you know changing the the look of the WNBA again, allowing women to be in their femininity. You know, be very feminine. I just, it was, it was nice to see, honestly. But I didn't want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all personally think.